for more than hundred odd years. So what we did, we we have uh, we <coughs> we have what they call a Hopo associations throughout Malaysia, Sabah, Sarawak. So we all together we have eight uh, <coughs> Hopo association. Then we have one main organization called uh, Malaysian Federa uh, uh, Federation of Hopo Association. Then we have He Zhong He Po Zhong Hui. So under this federal Hopo Association, we form a Hopo Malaysian Hopo Cultural Foundation, called Cultural Fund. Malaysia Hopo Wen Fa Chi Ching Hui. So I'm the first term chairman. So one term is three years. So now I'm in the second term. They insist I stay, so I still take on the challenge. Now. So this is second term already, coming to a fourth year. So three, they have been wanting to to do something like that for years, but nothing take off. Uh, I think probably probably bother also lah. So about I so finally they requested me, asked me to take up the challenge. So in two o one four, I took up the challenge uh, and became the first term chairman or now second term of the Malaysian Hopo Cultural Funds Foundation uh, basically. So the purpose of this foundations uh, cultural foundation is to promote Hopo culture. Okay, so that the Hopo people, you know, descendants from generation to generation, will know how we come about, you know, what we have gone through. After what, I will take you all through some of those jobs that was or professions when we first came to Malaya those days. How those people have uh, the kind of profession they have gone through, and how they evolved from those grassroots kind of uh, jobs to where we are now and most of the Hopper people are doing quite well now. Mm. Huh? I think they are doing quite well now. I can also mm. mention to you uh, how many Tan Sri, how many Wan Sri, how many mm. all these are. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so we are doing quite relative now. So so there is kind of a, the, 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 the purpose is to try to find out uh, the quality in the Hopper people. So. The Hopo people, we are part of the Hakka, you know, mm. Hakka, we are part of Hakka, but Hopo people are extremely united. Mm. We feel very proud of uh, our Hopo culture, we are proud of our food, and we are also very proud of the language <coughs> we speak. Even though, as I said earlier days, we are shy to speak Hopo, <coughs> they say it in Japanese. <laughs> but everybody doing, doing all those, uh, what should I say, uh, those early days are in the 50s, 40s, most of our people are very poor actually. So it was over because of our kind of perseverance, kind of a, a spirit that we have, or the quality that we have in us. So it make us out of that. The miskinan, the poor cycle. So I think most of the Hopa people are doing relatively well, as I said now. So that made us proud. And we are very proud to speak Hopa, even we speak very loud also in part of public. <laughs> so that's the difference, how we transform from a uh, so-called uh, uh, shy and and uh, uh, how to call uh, inferior few kind of uh, uh, ethnic groups to a very proud and of the ethnic group that we have now. Okay, so the purpose of forming the as I say uh, this uh, cultural foundation is to to transmit or to pass all these values what we have in us to discover what we are, to make the us what we are now and to the generation to come. So with that, immediately I took up two challenges, you know, and after forming the cultural foundations. <coughs> First is to employing a group of uh, consultant writers to write, to do research and write the history about Hopa people from the first day coming from China to where we are now. You know, so I will explain all this in detail afterwards to where we are now, so the process that I've gone through. So this particular story, <coughs> uh, we call it historical facts, it will be in three volumes. Okay, it will be in three volumes. So volume one is about the poor, poor people religious belief. Of course, mainly within Hopo people, we also have Christian, we also have Buddhist, you know, we also have uh, Taoist, this and that, but mainly there's still 
even in some of the Christian Hobo people, they still believe that main religion that was actually uh, inherited by our ancestors those days. You know? So we call it San San Bo Wang, the three king that we will uh, mention. So this is the main religion, you know, that Hobo people. So I think that one probably holds together and then why we believe this and that. So that is our so the book, the first historical facts that we actually put in volume one is about the Hobo belief. Basically circle around the Sanhan Ko Wang Miao. I will show you how to do it. Second volume is why is a is the is a record of why the Hopo people came all the way from China about two hundred years ago to Malaya, to Malaya those days, and to find new life. What they call "piao yang guo hai," chuang xi, because those days you can't survive. Even I still remember my late father told me, even you can plant one veggie, you can't even survive the veggie. So you either they see, see to die and they go out. So they have to travel. You know, those days, they came in a small boat. Those who died on the boat, no barrier, you know, dumped into the sea. So the sea was their barrier ground those days. So the, all these have been recorded. So the third volume is about our cultural uh, uh, stuff, lah. our food. Okay, I will take you all through our food, okay, and our uh, way of life. Okay, the clothes that we wear, you know, the song normally you pass on from one place, generation to other. Nowadays I don't I do know how to sing those songs. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why we've got some lady up there who come and help you to sing the her ball tongue yao. The the kids song. Uh. song like. huh? <laughs> <laughs> so so we have this three volume. So then along the way, when we did the first project to collect the all this do research about our Hopo history. The journey that we've gone through, we also collect a lot of these religious, you know, these are cultural relics. Mm. These things like this, huh? mm. we collected along the way. Now look, so the immediate idea is to have a cultural place, cultural museum. So that when people come, you know, wow, like what you all see also, wow, like that. Lah. This is what we've gone through, lah, you know? What wow, this, oh, wow, your ancestor, like my children will say, look, wow, your, my, the grandpa don't say so poor one. Because now they don't know. Because mm. they are born under a silver platter, children. You know, so they, at least they know that the grandfather or great grandfather has gone through that. Mm. So poor those days. So at least they know the values, you know, and and they can see that why make us different from the other Hakka group. By looking at this stadium, we more or less know how and where we are. So these are the things that we actually collect along the way. So all the Hopa <coughs> people donate. Uh, you know? So in fact, this particular audio visual room itself uh, is donated by one Hopo by Goon. Mm. Just this place he donated 100,000. Mm. <laughs> you imagine? So he's so so proud by this Mr. Liu, you know, Hopo Tai Goon. So he called this place called Peng, Peng Chen. Peng Chen, you all know in Mandarin, is actually referred to Liu, Liu, Liu Si la la, you know, those with the Liu. It's called Peng Chen. So, so, so we, we, with that, a lot of uh, these collections, we create this Hopo Museum and we took about one year plus for us to be where we are, so it's quite an achievement, mm. you know, and it's quite uh, uh, famous now, you know, and we are, uh, in fact, our follow subsequent project is we're going to, we are going to create the World Hopo Festival, mm. World Hopo Cultural Festival, I invite you all to come. Mm. Remember December first. Mm -hmm. December first, Sir Yi Hao. We have the So Jie Si Jie He Po Wen Fa Jie. First term, World Hopo Cultural Festival. Is there a lot? The one the we have a whole day session from December first. Uh, morning nine o'clock to twelve o'clock. There will be a talk mm. by prominent. Uh, these are uh, speakers, Hakka speaker about the culture, this and that. And then also there will exchange of opinions, a view by Hobo people all around the world. They'll be from uh, Indonesia, from Thailand, from Taiwan, from China, from uh, Thailand, uh, Thailand, from Australia, all over the world. They'll come. About thousand of us will come. So then 12 to 3, uh, we have this Hobo food. Mm. They'll buy coupon. Uh. 
Mm. Uh, so they extra her donate to the couple culture fund. Mm. Then that night itself, the night itself, we're going to have the couple couple culture night. Couple culture night. Uh, so that one will perform. This a cultural uh, activity. Uh, dances la, hopo song la, mm. the whole the, the mm. night It will be a three hours, seven to ten o'clock mm. the night. So that one will be uh, the, 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 the climate, la, the ultimate. Mm. Uh, so that one will be a gathering of uh, people from all over the world. La, you know, to us. So this is our first term. So we're going to have this organized every two years. So the second term will be held in China. Mm. The original village where the whole people come from. Oh, where is that? Chessy, eh? Chessy. Chessy. Ah, Chessy. So that place will be held in 2019. Mm -hmm. And that one will be organized by the China, China Hopo. Mm -hmm. How big is the community of uh, Malaysia, Hopo people? For Hopo people, about mm. half a million. Half a million. Oh, that's a lot. Malaysia. Oh, by the way. Oh. But in China, is it still in huge? In China, it's about... Hopo people are not very <coughs> big one. No. Mm. So all the whole world, uh, I think less than 3 million. Oh, okay. But you can see how we united we are. Yeah? Less than 3 million people, the whole world. In China, it's about 1 million plus. Mm. So outside. Malaysia is the second place with the biggest number of Hopo people. Mm. Then you have Thailand, you have Indonesia a lot. Indonesia in Puntiana. Oh, Puntiana. Puntiana. And uh, that area, even the the deputy governor mm. of uh, Puntiana is the Hopo. Mm. Mm. They still, they still speak Hokkien one, even though they speak Indonesian, but they still speak Hokkien. Like like the Hokkien's in Medan. Ah, like Hokkien in Medan. Mm. Like Hokkien in Medan. Mm. No? So, so basically yeah. that's uh, the, the, so our, these three books, the, the Hopo books will be launched on the December 1st itself, okay. at night. And then we intend to, cons to donate the three books to the library, to all over the world for a university which has a, <coughs> a Chinese faculty. Mm. 